with that right hand. Big right. I don't think you guys saw the, uh, 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 the uppercut he threw last round. And, and like, it's nice to see him come back to that punch. Obviously, he knows that there's something there for him with the right uppercut. There it is again. Oh. Stop, guys. Stop, stop. Step wow. back, step back. Okay, to Brock Poole at 41 years of age. And I was going to say, 41, the experience, you're seeing it right there. The fact that he's seven years older than that of Jerry Forrest and the fact that he fought Klitschko and Joshua, two marquee names, heavyweight champions, and Poole has certainly grown exponentially since then. This ends up being a really good matchup because you got Jerry Forrest, who's, who's come close to upsetting some guys very recently. And then you got a pool at 41 years old, a young 41 and heavyweight, and has had all the experience needed to beat right, this stop. guy, Jerry Forrest. So I think we got a good matchup right here. You got to take your hat off to the matchmaker. And on your scorecard, Sean Wheelock, you have this as a close fight. I have a 29-28, Jerry stop. Forrest, two rounds to one. Showtime, Sean, I gave Jerry Forrest round three, and as I stated earlier, round one. You know, in the year 2022 with judges, ring generalship is great for pressure is great, defense is great. What wins rounds is clean, significant shots. I'm not mad at you, Sean. It took me a minute to write down who I felt won that first round, so it definitely could have gone either way. And Pulev unloading that big right hand. Couple left left hooks, that uppercut. Forrest playing possum, but he's getting unloaded upon by Pulev. But neither shot landed clean. You can't stand there against a big guy like Pulev and expect to survive. Mm -hmm. Pulev doing the right thing, coming around the guard of Jerry Forrest, though. Something's going to get through eventually. Hey, watch your head, guys. I give him this, that not, nothing really landed clean, but when you're getting hit by a guy that's a heavyweight that's got... Oh, oh, there it was. There we go. Stumbled him. That was that one, too. Okay, stop. You see him step wobble back. a little bit. That was that bing bow. Yep. Yeah. That was that bing bow. That was that bing bong. Oh, Shout out to Lamo. Another one, too. <laughs> there it goes. Forrest now laboring, getting Papa oh. shots, but back comes Forrest. Wow. Forrest is wobbled. Forrest is wobbled. Literally moving forward. Doesn't have his legs fully underneath he him, it seems like. Up. You got to get them hands up. Yeah, my man is going to be hurt. <laughs> Big right hands coming from the Bulgarian and Kubrat Pulev. The Cobra unloading big shots on Forrest. Oh, oh he survives. He was belly dancing for a minute with his hand. <laughs> you want to win this fight? Forrest got to get it together. You just like the tee off. You better, yo. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, hey, I got you. I got you. Hey, this is when you usually take over. Take over. This is when you take over. You got to take over. Body, okay? Okay, he's ready to quit. They, they might stop the fight now. No. But, but, but still be aware. Still be aware. Right here, we got Pulev. Pulev took advantage of an opportunity right here. Look, he's just going to let his hands go. The smartness, the intelligence of Pulev to come underneath the gloves, around the gloves, and just keep working right there, understanding I'm a heavyweight. I could do something right here, you know? And then we saw him do the same thing again later on in the, in the fight coming around the gloves oh, 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 of Forrest. Forrest was hurt multiple times that round. Piece. Working under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Working under the hood. I like you, AC. Working under the hood. Well, he calls it as he sees it. Round five. This one's scheduled for 10. I don't think it's going to go the distance, guys, with what Pulev has been able to do. And now Forrest, he was shaking up a variety of times. Pulev has found a, a, a home for that right hand, whether it's an uppercut, whether it's a right hook, like that one right there. He just took a chance. He got hey, caught right there. But the corner of Pulev says, hey, keep going. They might stop the fight. So mm -hmm. look to see Pulev try to pour it on this round. Big, Big right, right hand, hand that connected, that blasted away Jerry Forrest. And Forrest went backwards. Yeah, just let it fly. Just let the right fly. Keep setting it up and throwing it. That's it. Forrest cannot get out of the way of that right hand from Kubrat Pulev, and he gets hit again. Another Ooh. one. Stop, He's oh clearly my. hurt now. Oh, stop. He's clearly hurt now. Don't stop. Hey, stop. Remember I said that? Hey, see, you hey. made it sound like okay. a street fight. Just keep throwing that right hand. Just throw it. Just <laughs> get loose with it. Oh, look. Sean Wheelock, what did you hear from Ed Coyantes? He was hey, just stop. giving, oh, and that's stop. a very hard, up, up, soft up, up, warning up, 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 time, John Border. That's not saying next time it's a point, but that's just simply hey, Edward Coyantes saying stop. to Kubrat hey, Pulev, listen to me. Time, when I say stop, Don't stop punching. Okay, what I go. noticed about Jerry Forrest, gentlemen, is that he's breathing deep. He has his mouth open. Right, he's breathing deep. Stop. 
There seems back, to be back. the fact that the Go. pressure and also the moment has gotten to the best of Jerry Force, at least in this particular round. I mean, I can tell you what I'm seeing right here. Jerry Force has lost focus. Jerry Force is kind of fighting out of desperation. And he doesn't need to do that. He just needs to get back to the basics. First of all, keep your hands up. Stop playing off the ropes like this unless you intend to do something with it. If you're not, then keep circling the ring and keep trying to stay out of the reach of that jab right there that you just got stuck with by Pulev. So in the fight against Michael Hunter, Jerry Forrest outworked Michael Hunter, and that's what led to the draw. I think Forrest won that fight. But in this particular fight, Pulev, who's seven years older than him at 41 years of age, he's outworking Jerry Forrest here, especially indicative of the fifth round. You know, AC, what we see right here is just levels. There's different levels yes. to this boxing game. Pulev is on another level than Jerry Forrest. I don't think we necessarily knew that coming in, but we know that now. And I'm not saying that Pulev is going to win this fight, but definitely he looks stronger. He looks Chris. intact. He looks crisp. There yes. you go. Boom, boom. You the guy, AC. Yep. And heavyweights get older. The last division in boxing. They are the last ones to get old because power is the last thing to go as a prize fighter. Yeah, it's the last thing to go. We see it right here. This 41-year-old is out punching, out landing the younger, courageous Jerry Forrest. Stop, stop, stop. Final moments of the fifth round on what has been an entertaining co-main event thus far between Kubrat Pulev and Jerry Forrest. Pulev in control. And the uppercut right there by Pulev. So Kubra Pulev still standing. Rudy Hernandez is cut man, quality cut man. Okay. Pulev has yet to sit down in between rounds, guys. I wasn't sure what that was about, right but I like the tactic. Okay? It, it is what it is. You know, we don't sit down in the gym, so why sit down now? Come on. Check this replay out right there. Nice straight one, two right there. Just the yes, basis so back, of boxing. Back. But what I want to point Don't out, now the right hand comes back. around the glove yes. of Jerry Mouth Forrest. Piece. That's intelligence right there being six in the right there by, by Pula. And Pula starts off the sixth round. Jab followed by a right hand down the center. Look, 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 look. He's waiting on the right hand. Look, my man is just, look. Pula is just waiting on the right hand. That old one, two is American as apple pie. Ah. That's, what <laughs> that's what he's looking for. <laughs> Look, look, we finally see an adjustment by Jerry Forrest. He's circling now and just trying to use the jab. And, and, and much more busy. That's what he needs yes. to be. He needs to be busy. Not, not with both hands, not combination punches, but like that right there. A double jab just to keep the man off of you. And look at the power punches. 48% connect percentage. Pulev has been extremely accurate. He's over double the amount of power punches landed compared to that of Jerry Forrest. Well, I, mean, I think it's clear he's winning this fight. Right hand down the middle, popping the head back of Jerry Forrest yet again. It has been a very simple formula for Kubrat Pulev. The jab followed by the right hand, as we said, so Americana, even though a Bulgarian's doing it to the American. <laughs> yeah, look, Forrest has to make him shuffle his feet. He's got to circle him, like you said, Sean. He's got to make him move, get him out of that game plan. So I, I, I like being the fighter ringside. I love doing commentary because I can tell you guys what's happening okay, stop, while it's happening. Stop, 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 stop. We see a fresh Jerry Forrest for about 40 seconds of, that for, of, this, of this round. And then guess what? He's right back on the inside now. He's right back where he doesn't need to be. I like the stalk right here, but I'd much rather see you make that adjustment and use the ring and try to keep Pulev on the outside with that straight jab. There's a right hand. Oh, my goodness. We heard that here at ringside. But back comes Forrest. Now, that's because he's tired, Sean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm he's sorry. Going, he's going away from yeah, the game plan. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't finish my point. He's not, he doesn't have the conditioning mm -hmm. to make the adjustment and stay consistent with that adjustment. Mm -hmm. And that's why we see him fall right back into what we've seen for a number of rounds now by Jerry Ford. The one thing at high level prize fighting is do you have a plan A? If plan A doesn't work, do you have a plan B? Do you have a plan C? Yeah. And right now, Jerry Forrest doesn't even have a plan B, whereas Kubrat Pulev, his plan A is working exceptional. And the guys that you see at the elite level in professional boxing, 
They have plans A, B, C, maybe D, but they're able to play with A, B, C, and maybe D the entire fight. We see Kolev making adjustments. We see him now being able to box going backwards, controlling the range and the distance, and right there landing a great one, too, on Forrest and another yeah. one, too. Two big right hands and a right to the body to punctuate that sequence for Kubra Pulev, the two-time heavyweight title challenger. Yeah, that one-two, time's gonna run out for Forrest if he keeps getting hit with that one-two. Eventually, he's, he's gonna get hit with that one-two and then it's gonna be lights out. Kubra Pulev in control. Letting him plant his feet. Play. Okay, right, you are. Well, listen, that right. What I need you to stop doing is stop looking for that perfect shot. You're looking for the knockout shot. You're looking for the perfect jab, see? Right. Doing good. Doing good. You did better that. There you go. There you go. Look at me. Made it. Let's take this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, stop looking for the perfect shot. I like what I heard from uh, Pulev's corner right there. He In said, terms of? He said, trust me, keep running your hands, stop looking for the perfect shot. Keep throwing the one two. jab. And, and set up that right hand instead of looking for it. Round seven, this one's scheduled for 10. As we have six rounds in the book, Sean Wheel, I kind of have the fight thus far. Ray, for me, Kubra Pulev absolutely has taken over this fight. I've given him the last three rounds, four, five, and six. Now 58-56 on my unofficial scorecard. For me, rounds one, two, and three was forward pressure without the right hand for Pulev. Now you're seeing forward pressure with that thudding right hand. Also, between rounds four and five and five and six, great refereeing from Edward Coliantes. He is seeing the will of Jerry Forrest. He is looking to see if Forrest wants to continue. Continue. And more importantly, if Forrest is being bullied by his corner to continue. Sean, what I found to be interesting, I'm talking to Sean Wheelock, is the fact that the corner of Jerry Forrest said you're doing good. That's surprising to me. It's surprising to me as well. You know, corners in Showtime, Sean, you know this. They're not always honest. There are different motivational tactics. They'll tell you you're down when you're up, you're up when you're down. They're trying to keep their fighter in the fight. And again, that's what Coliantes is the referee is looking for. Does the fighter want to continue? It doesn't matter what his corner wants him to do. More right hands from Kubrat Pulev. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my corner always kept it real with me. You need to keep it real and tell him to bring that left hand up because you keep getting hit with right hand. Right there, we see the bullying tactics of Pulev. All right, wasn't, that, that's not what you're supposed to do, but guess what? You see how far back Jerry Forrest just went off of a push? He's not strong. And he's not gonna last if he keeps fighting like this. Well, he ran into the Bulgarian Cobra okay, stop, stop. in stop. Kubrat okay, Pulev stop. and AC. Kubrat Pulev at 41 years of age is proving that age right now, at least for him, is but a number. I mean, this guy's a different animal. He jogs in the mountains of Bulgaria, you know what I mean? He's a difficult, oh, oh there's right right there. That's right there. That's staggered force. Yeah, it is, it's only a matter of time. He's got to keep that left up for us. I cannot believe he's still upright and maintaining his vertical base. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you, you do have to uh, say that he, he's, he's, got, he's got a strong chin. Uh, and we can also say that, you know, he's, he's conditioned to take this. And he's taking them. Look at those right hands. My goodness, he is eating right hands nonstop. And Forrest continues to come forward. But could it be a case? Oh, there it is. One, two, combination. Load it up and let it fly. Forrest might be too brave for his own good. I think Coyantes really needs to take a long look because Pulev is starting to really beat him up. I got to tell y'all, man, I got, I got a silly mind. You know, the, in the cartoons when, where the one guy stands there and lets the other guy punch and just punch himself out, yeah. and then he finally takes control? I don't see that happening tonight, but I'm like, at this point, I'm starting to believe the cartoons. <laughs> well, we are seeing art being exhibited inside the ring from Kubra okay, Pulev. Stop, stop art has come to life, and that art has been a jab followed by a right hand as Jerry Forrest Ooh. is laboring back to the corner. Hey, fight off the ropes for now. Fight off the ropes, okay? I want you to fight off the ropes. Don't stand in the middle. Fight, use the ropes. 
stay on the ropes and work the ropes. Your, your legs are gone. But you're better on the ropes than you are in the middle of the ring. Breathe. You can still get this guy. Come on. We can get this guy. Draw him in and throw the left hook, man. Drop it. Set him up, though. Set a trap. Draw him in. It's a matter of time. All right, here we go. What, what else will we see? Nice one, Woo! two right there. Hey, what you call two. that one, two? It's Some American, American. It's apple pie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right there. It's just a nice, clean one, two. That's going to continue to happen until this fight ends, I, I right, believe. We saw the corner of hey, Jerry Forrest pie. right there. Jerry wasn't even looking to the eyes of his coach. That means he's spaced out. He's not into this mentally. He's going to be gone. He's on his own right now. Yep. Yep. So they signed off on Jerry Forrest going out to fight, but I looked at the body language of Kubrat Pulev. He looked over at you, Showtime, and he immediately was ready to go. I think Kubrat Pulev, if he strings together another combination or two, that Koyates may wave it off. Makes sense, and you see just everything is landing now for Pulev. Just some, some jabs right there landing for Pulev. It's only a matter of time. Excuse me, before he applies some pressure and gets Jerry Forrest out of here. But with a matter of time, Jerry Forrest has got to show, look, yeah. if you want this fight, you've got to come out yeah. and demonstrate to the referee that you still can intelligently defend yourself and that you're still throwing punches that could hurt Kupra Pulev. I, I, I'm rooting for the kid. I said, you know, you got to change your mentality. It doesn't look yeah. like that mentality has changed coming into the ring. A couple of big right hands smashing into the face of Jerry Forrest moments ago, and Pulev has got Jerry Forrest trapped against the ropes, and this is no man's land for Forrest. Forrest is behind on points. He's just got to throw Hill Marys at this point. Just throw them left bombs and see what happens. Ed Koyantes is really watching this, and Pulev is just jab right hand. Backs away, jab right hand. That is what it's been. Look at this. It's it is a, a non-stop assault for Kupra Pulev, and Koyantis is just waiting to step in. Great body shots right there from, from Pulev. I mean, the intelligence to, to, to let go of what he's letting go right mm -hmm. now. It, 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 to me, that was just really special right there, what, what Pulev was able to put together. The I, levels. He's hitting them with levels right now. Yeah. I think, look, Jerry Forrest gave Michael Hunter a run for his money. He gave Zalia a run for his money. Woo! He's not an easy guy to deal with. And Kubra Pulev is showing that there are absolute levels to this as he is battering Jerry Forrest here tonight in Los Angeles. I love what we've just gotten from Pulev this round. I don't think it's going to go another round. The body work by Pulev yeah. has really sealed the deal in this fight for him. I'm, and I'm he's, he's stuck them up because, Sean. You yeah. see them up because he yeah. stuck them in. Yeah. You also mentioned adjustments. After the first three rounds, you guys had a 29-28 one way or the other, but it was close for the first third of the fight. But since that point, from round four on, it has been all Kubra Pulev. We see who's stronger. We see who's been running in the mountains. And we see who's been re really ready for this fight. Great rights, great rights to the body from Pulev as well. I love that you brought that up, Showtime. The punch selection. It hasn't just been jab right hand to the body. It has been jab right hand to the body and upstairs. He has been burying that right hand where he places it. Yeah. Um, no, to your point, the, the, or, or, or even to my point, the, the punch selection has been, it's been superb. I like that wow. word for Pulev tonight, superb. He's been superb. And you pointed out about the uppercuts that he's been throwing. Yep. See him veteran, this is like veteran ringship right now. Yeah, even he's that right there. Him, he's schooling him right now. When you're all offense, sometimes it's hard to get back to defense. Right there, he caught one. Here comes Forrest, though. There is that gusto that we were looking for from Forrest. Here we go. Two Ooh, more rounds nice. remaining. And that ends the eighth. Ooh. Forrest is a soft. He ain't gonna go it down like that that easy. And Jerry Forrest did tell us in the fighter meetings that he needed to do more in the later rounds. And lo and behold, we're starting to see some tenacity from him, especially in that eighth round. There's time, okay? He's shot. He's done. He's been beating on you all night, but you're going to knock his ass out right now, okay? Come on now. You got this. Hey, you can still win this fight. The left hand's going to do it, but you got to draw him in. He's done. You just finished. You had him on the road. Come on, work, baby. Believe in this. I believe in you. Do you believe in you? Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Okay? Come on. 
I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Come on. You know, in a moment like this, whoo, where you know your fighter can't do anything about what's going on, you can't help but smile <laughs> when you yeah. get touched. And look at Pulev. He's like, oh, okay, you're actually Stop. showing me something. Yeah, yeah how that. do you like it in the words of Barry Tompkins way back in the day? Hey, and, and also, when it comes to Jerry Forrest, his trainer, James Hogan, he goes, you're winning this fight. I think hey, James guys, Hogan has back a back, second career back. as a motivational oh, speaker yeah. because he's trying to do everything he can to get his men to give one final charge towards Cabral right, Pulev. I'm, I'm not going to disrespect the corner. Uh, I just want Jerry to start doing this right here. Now it's time hey, to start taking oh, control yeah. and yeah. trying to push forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah. let it's this guy have his way, now get yours. His corner shouldn't have told him that. He needs a knockout to Big win. Big hand right there. There's Sorry, a straight left. Okay, stop, step back. They both stop. exchange. Step back. And man, I gotta give Jerry Forrest credit. I thought a round or two rounds ago, he was there to be finished, and stop, he came back. back and had to dig down deep, stop, stop, stop. and he's still there in the ninth round. I'm telling you, man, I'm watching too many Looney Tunes hey, with stop. my son. Because <laughs> that's what came to mind. Like he's, he's letting this guy punch himself out. And you see him looking strong now, eating some shots still, but he's eating them and trying to come back and take charge. Jerry hey, Forrest stop, said, stop, my stop. problem in my last few fights is that I did not end strong. And I'm going to do that tonight here in Los Angeles. Stop. And AC, so back, far, back. he has so been demonstrating that even though from the fourth round through the eighth, he got lit up with big right hands all night long. Well, Ray, he was. He was done. He was finished. But he got a second win. This is what Jerry Forrest is made of. We've seen this before, and this is what he's exhibiting tonight. And Showtime, could we be seeing at least some bit of semblance of the 41 years of Kubrat Puller, the fact that he slowed down a little bit? Uh, I don't think so. I think that Kubrat, we saw him smile at us. This, the last round, you know, he's smiling to the crowd. He feels comfortable, like he's gonna win this. I believe that he is. I don't, I'm, I'm not sold on what Jerry Forrest is doing right now. I just think that it's a matter of time until that clock runs out. And let's not forget Jerry Forrest. His nickname is Slugger because he was incubated at birth, and his grandma was talking to him when he was in the incubator and said, he's the Slugger because he keeps fighting. And lo and behold, Jerry Forrest, at 34 years of age, is continuing to fight against a very determined Kubra Pulev. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the story. You're in the incubator, and your grandma says, keep fighting, Slugger. Now you bring that to the boxing ring. I love the story. I was really pulling for uh, Jerry Forrest in this fight, but I can see that there's just levels, as I know, and Pulev is showing that he's on another level. The yeah, way I would describe Jerry Forrest is bravado. He has a lot of bravado. Mm -hmm. Look, you got to root for a guy Stop. like Jerry Forrest. You know what I mean? He comes in there and he's all heart. But eventually, like you said, the levels are going to take effect. Stop. That's what happened here tonight. Stop. If he can get a Hill Mary off, so be it. But right now, he's losing this fight. Here is the legendary Kia Forum, our lovely. You can get there. You can do this. Come on, breathe. Come on, cup. Hey, get close and get through that something shot. What do you want? Uh, I got you. Do your turns, OK? Keep circling, circling, and then throwing that big shot, OK? Don't let him. He's coming straight in with a haymaker. All you're doing is coming straight in with a haymaker, OK? That's his only last hope. Breathe. Deep breath, I'll give you one more shot. Come on. Breathe. Last round. The last round. Stand right in front of him, let him throw them haymakers. You understand? OK. Keep turning. Where round are we in? Back. Nothing. Let me see well, the, you're uh, seeing nothing. that Jerry Everything's Forrest good. has done yeah. some work Tenth upon Kubrat Pulev. There's a small Touch cut close, above the left Touch eye close. of one Kubrat Pulev. Tenth and final round we go. Ray Forrest, AC Cassiani, Showtime Sean Porter. Sean Wheelock, how do you have the fight Step through back. nine? Ray, seven rounds to two, 88-83 Kubrat Pulev. Round nine, relatively close. I think that it was the closest round since round number three, which I gave to Jerry Forrest. I still gave it to Pulev. He is still landing hard with that right hand. And even though Forrest started to throw in round nine, it was a lot of arm punches that just were not landing. Well, as we see, seven rounds to two. Sean Wheelock has it in favor of Kubrat Pulev. Do you agree with that, Showtime? Uh, I think I got, yeah, I got eight rounds to one. I mean, it's the same thing. I, I agree with Sean. That first round could have gone either way. 
Uh, but, uh, it, you know, it, we all see that Pulev is taking control, and he's going to end this fight strong. Uh, I, I got to say this, though. This, this was a fast-paced heavyweight fight with a lot of action from both guys. Oh, big left. Forrest might have hurt Pulev. Oh, oh, boy. We might have some drama here in Hollywood. Or maybe it was the fact that Pulev was off balance. That didn't look so good, though, for Pulev. Pulev had his, his, his eyebrows were raised. Like, hey, where'd that come from? You know what I mean? So I think now Pulev, he'll get back to what he needs to do to get out of this fight safely. We see him pushing up. We see him covering now. I don't yeah. think we'll see as much offense from Pulev, but I could be wrong. Ibn Kaysen told Pulev, the only way this guy beats you is if he hits a Hail Mary home run shot on you. Stay away from the haymakers. I mean, it doesn't pay for Pulev to go in for that right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just keep him at bay and let the clock run out. You know what? Let's talk about this real quick. Because we this, this fight is going to come to an end soon. We got a minute left. Pulev says he wants another shot at the title. Do you think that this, this performance is worthy of a title? I mean, look, with the way that the sectioning body says anything is possible, he went out, he looked impressive. He, to me, is a top five, top seven heavyweight. Because you look at, it's Fury and then it's everybody else yeah. in my estimation. Yeah. Fury, Usyk, and then everyone else. So we'll see. It's possible. Well, where do you see Pulev against Usyk? That's the question. Or, or where do we see Pulev against even Anthony Joshua? Anthony Joshua has lost once to Usyk. Exactly. They're, they're in a rematch. I think that it, to, for, in order for Pulev to get to a title, I, I got a feeling feel like he's going to have to go through Anthony Joshua, given he loses to Usyk. I think Pulev needs one more, and then he can go ahead and challenge for the title. Who that might be, I don't know. But I think Pulev needs one more, again, assuming the scorecards are correct. Yeah, I, you know, again, I don't want let's get back to this fight. I don't want to disrespect either fighter by putting the part before the horse. Let's get back to this fight. Both guys are finishing strong. And we see Jerry Forrest right there being that slugger that he was at birth. Jerry Forrest showing a lot of determination, but tonight he ran into the Cobra from Bulgaria and Kubrat Pulev. We go the distance.